Hi guys, it's Alicia from chica-fashion.com and today um, I'm going to do a, I guess it's called a confessional or like um, behind the scenes of a YouTuber. I'm not exactly sure, I forgot the name. But my fellow blogger, my blogger buddy, Alta Gracia from um, Inspired by Style tagged me, so here we go. The first question, how long have you been on YouTube? Um, I started my YouTube around the time I started my blog, which was in 2010, but I really don't consistently do videos. I mean, this year I'm going to try, like this new year, <laughs> I'm going to try to do at least one video a week. Uh, let's see how that goes. At what point do you think you will stop? I think I will stop when it stops being fun, um, when it stops, like, um, I mean, when it starts to be, like, a lot of work, when I feel that it's work. If it's work, it's, you know, it's not fun, it's, there's no point to it, and, um, yeah, so I guess I'll just play it by ear and see, but I'll always have my block. The worst thing about YouTube, and what do you do to make it okay? The worst thing is um, getting ready to like actually record. I don't look like this all the time. I am usually either um, looking like a bum or glamorous. <laughs> um, yeah, because I work from home, so I have the liberty to be like super relaxed and casual and just have um, a bun drop my daughter off, pick her up at three, and um, and that's that. So I don't need to be like dressed up and I don't wear makeup every day. Um, I don't really do my hair like that every day. So that's the worst part for me. Because by the time I do hair and makeup and like get dressed, um, my son is up from nap. So video time is probably over. <laughs> How many thumbnail options do you take? Um, none? I take probably like a couple of shots because of the blog and then I just use one of those for um, the thumbnail or if I forgot to take any or I didn't take any at all then I just do a, um, a screenshot thing in the Windows editor. So yeah, I'm not too big on like, I'm not a fanatic of um, thumbnails. It is what it is. But um, I do try sometimes to pick one that's decent that you're not like... Watch that one be the thumbnail YouTube picks. Um, YouTube crush. So funny because I make YouTube videos, but I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos. I get um kind of bored. Like two minutes into the video so I'm not a big watcher <laughs> like I'll watch something if my sister tags me or I'm in this cool um, blogger vlogger vlogger group so when they share videos I watch it to support and give them that view but um yeah I'm not like a big you know I don't, I don't fangirl over any um any youtuber sorry who is on your collab wish list um I would this kind of goes with the one before so um I don't know no wish list but I am going to collab with um inspired by style and with Lisa Alamood so it's not really a wish list we're just you know we decided to do it and we're gonna do it uh, let's see here what are you wearing on your bottom half I am wearing boyfriend jeans I don't know if maybe I can show you no no I'm wearing boyfriend jeans and this is a cool tuxedo blazer with satin trim and the satin is on the buttons and right here and I picked this up for four dollars 
from the Goodwill in Paramus, New Jersey, and it says Jean Paul Germain, whoever that is. I tried to Google it, and this particular one did not come up, but other uh, like suits and blazers and sports coats did come up and they're like you know 90 something dollars 100 something dollars so i'll take it it is a men's coat um i have no clue what size it is i just saw it tried it on it fit it worked um and i took it and yesterday no when was it that whatever day i went it was half price off so um the already low price of $8 was now $4. How long until you click record? Um, I don't know. I set up my little area, sit down, look at myself in the screen because now I have a Canon T5i. I'm so excited because that's going to allow me to do more videos. Having that little flip screen it makes such a big difference. Um, so after I'm all set up and sit down, I just hit record and go. Maybe like, um, I take a deep breath, check myself out again, and then just go from there. Let's see. How do you feel about the YouTube community culture? Um, it's funny because in one of the groups I'm in, they were saying how like whites and Asians are taking over and it's inundated and they get more opportunities and all this other stuff I'm not a super huge youtuber I'm not a guru I don't have like a trillion views and um, subscribers so for me I don't know nothing really about the community I guess the community is the one you build um, for yourself the one you make and it all depends really on how you are and who your reach is so hopefully um, my community will be like you know people who can relate to me and I can relate to them and let's see how it goes I don't feel there's any competition at least with me because like I said I'm such a small time blogger that it doesn't even come into play um, so I don't know really what goes on in this YouTube uh, sphere <laughs> It's a, probably a world of its own, totally different from the blogosphere. So, yeah. I guess I kind of don't really have an opinion about that. What's your secret to a successful YouTube channel? Um, I don't think mine is successful just yet. And I guess knowing why you're not successful is kind of the secret to be successful. Um... I'm not consistent I don't post all the time or I don't have like a specific niche so I'm not on a, solely a natural hair blogger I'm not solely like um, a beauty blogger or a fashion blogger I'm not doing lookbooks and uh, reviews and unboxings like I don't do just one thing um, I do like you know I cover everything fashion and lifestyle and so I guess that makes it harder to um, get one specific audience but that's who I am so I gotta just stay true to me and record things that I like um, not things that will get me more views or more su subscribers so um yeah the secret will be being consistent also, I think um, decent lighting, Not you don't have to be like investing a bunch and get a diva ring like everybody, but um, some good lighting and um, like a nice, clear, clean space so we can see you and hear you and you know that, that it's um, just something clear and your, your audio is, is clear as well. So like visually and um, the sound. But yeah, other than that, I really don't know because like I said, I'm not successful just yet. But consistently pumping out videos, I think that's what gets you um, a successful blog. So who do I tag? Um, I guess the only other person I kind of know in the blog, in the YouTube 
world would be um, Super Glam News and Lisa Alamode. Um, and anyone else who is a vlogger or who does videos that follows me or sees this, if you want to do it, do it too. Um, because I don't really, you know, like I said, I don't really have a lot of people that I follow that I'm subscribed to and, and watch. But um, it'll be fun to get some new YouTube buddies and um, and grow and learn from there. So yeah, um, that was the tag. And I thought I was going to have like some other kind of personal questions. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's a TMI tag. I did one of those before. But um, the lighting was bad. Oh my god. So yeah, maybe that was a TMI tag. I did that before. My lighting was horrible. Maybe I should do that one again. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you do. And um, yeah, check me out on, on Instagram. I'm like spacing out. Check me out on Instagram at La Fashion Chica. I'm so tired right now. I've been up since 4 a.m. which is why I have hair and makeup because I went on to um, Telemundo for a segment on kids holiday fashion and I haven't taken a nap. I really need one. But yeah, <laughs> for more on me and my blog, um, check, us, check us out. Yeah, on chica-fashion.com and La Fashion Chica yeah, love fashion chica on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.